The Battle of the Ten Kings is a battle, first alluded to in the Book 7 of the Rigveda, between a Bharata king and a confederation of tribes. It resulted in a decisive victory for the Bharatas and subsequent formation of the Kuru polity. Chapter 1 Background In Book 3, the Bharatas are noted to have crossed bees and Sutlaj, in their progress towards Kurukshetra where they came across a nascent inter-tribal alliance. This led to the battle, which is described in the 18th hymn of Book 7, the exact motivations are doubtful, Michael Witzel argues that it might have been a product of intra-tribal resentment or intrigues of an ousted family priest while Ranaba Chakravarti argues that the battle was probably fought for controlling the rivers, which were a lifeline for irrigation. The hymns also mention of the tribes seeking to steal cows from the Bharatas. Chapter 2 Battle Hans Peter Schmidt, whom Witzel deems to have produced the most detailed and ingenious reinterpretation of the hymns, locates a unique poetic moment across the RV corpus, in their extraordinarily abundant usage of sarcastic allusions, similes and puns to mock the tribal alliance. Some of those allusions seem to be heavily context-specific and remain unrecognized, there exist considerable disputes about interpretations of particular words, in light of the employed figures of speech and other poetic devices. Chapter 2 Section 1 First Phase The first phase of the battle took place on the banks of the river Ravi near Manyasa, west of Kurukshetra. The Bharata king and their priest are respectively mentioned as Sudas Pijavana and Vashishta, in the Rig Veda, however the names change in Somaveda, and Yajaveda Samhitas. The principal antagonist is doubtful and names of the participating tribes are difficult to retrieve, in light of the phonological deformations of their names. Plausible belligerents of the tribal union include, Purus, Yadu, Yaksu, Matsyas, Druyus, Pakthas, Balanas, Alinas, Vaishanins, Shivas, Vaikana, and Anunadutta seemingly an unequal battle, going by the numbers, Sudas decisively won against the tribal alliance by strategic breaching of a dike on the river thereby drowning most of the opponents. The victory is attributed to the benevolence and strategizing of Indra, the patron god of Bharatas, whose blessings were secured by Vashishta's poetics. Chapter 2 Section 2 Second Phase Thereafter, the battleground shifted to the banks of river Yamuna, wherein the local chieftain Pida was defeated along with three other tribes, Ages, Cyrus, and the Yaxus. Chapter 2 Section 3 Aftermath The Battle of the Ten Kings led Bharatas to occupy the entire Puru territory centered around Sarasvati River and complete their eastward migration. Sulas celebrated his victory with the Ashvamida ritual to commemorate the establishment of a realm, free of enemies from the north, east, and west. He still had enemies in the Khandava forest to the south, which was inhabited by the despised non Indo Aryan Kikitasa. Political realignment between Purus and Paratas probably followed soon enough and might have included other factions of the tribal union as well. This is exhibited from how the core collection of RV prominently features clan hymns of both the sides. Chapter 3 Historicity Numerous translators since the 1800s, including K. F. Geldner, have considered the battle as a historical event, based on the narration characteristics of the verses. Witzel dates the battle between approximately 1450 and 1300 BCE. He deems the concerned hymns to be late interpolations. Stephanie W. Jamison notes it to be the most famous historical conflict in RV, if it indeed secured the dominance of Bharatas over the Vedic tribes, however, she warns against using it as a major source to reconstruct history since the description of the battle is anything but clear. Both Witzel and Jamison find the very next hymn to show a striking shift of allegiance with Indra helping Sudas as well the Purus, who won land. Chapter 3 Section 1, Mahabharata Witzel notes this battle to be the probable archetype-slash-prototype of the Kurukshetra War, narrated in the Mahabharata. John Brockington takes a similar approach. S. S. N. Murthy goes to the extent of proposing the battle as the very nucleus of the Kurukshetra War, Walter Rubin adopts a similar stance. However, Witzel maintains the nucleus text of MBH to be in description of some event in the late Vedic spans, 
It was since reshaped over centuries of transmission and recreation to reflect the Battle of the Ten Kings. Alf Hilterbeetle rejects Witzel's and Brockington's arguments as baffling fancy and note a complete lack of means to connect the Vedic Battle of the Ten Kings with the fratricidal struggle of MBH. Chapter 4 Legacy The territory will eventually become the first South Asian state under the Kuru tribe in post RV, span, and serve as the heartland of Brahminical culture. The Puris went on to survive as a marginal power in Punjab. Witzel and some other scholars believe Porus to be a king from the same tribe. 